Right now, professional screenwriters spend months, sometimes even years, crafting a single script. They battle writer's block, struggle with character development, and often abandon projects halfway through. But what if I told you there's a way to write a complete feature film screenplay with compelling characters, jaw-dropping scenes, and perfect story structure without ever facing a blank page? I'm about to show you the exact three-step system that professional screenwriters are secretly using to create Hollywood caliber scripts in record time. We're not talking about typing a simple prompt into ChatGPT and getting generic garbage. This is the real deal. The same process used by industry professionals, but supercharged with AI. I just completed a full 140 page screenplay using this method, and it took me less than a day. The story has complete continuity, interesting characters, and jaw-dropping scenes that would make any studio executive take notice. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to go from a simple movie idea to a complete, professionally formatted screenplay that you'd be proud to pitch to any studio. And the best part? You'll maintain complete creative control over every single element of your story. So, whether you're a complete beginner who's never written a script before, or an experienced writer looking to speed up your process, this is going to change everything. Let's dive in. By the way, I added a special link in the description so you can check out the best AI tools to write movie scripts. Every great movie starts long before the first line of dialogue. It starts with a vision. The tone, the style, the kind of story you want to tell. That's what we're building here. Not just a script, but the foundation of a cinematic world. And instead of starting a blank page, we're doing it inside poppy.ai. A platform that works like a creative partner, one that remembers your influences, studies your references, and helps you shape them into something new. Inside Poppy, click plus new board from the dashboard to open your workspace. Think of this as your personal writer's room, where every piece of inspiration you add helps define the kind of movie you want to make. I'll rename mine to match the project. Then, start gathering the core references that would give everything that comes next. The key to using Poppy isn't giving it more information, it's giving it the right information. We're not just going to feed it with data, we have to give it taste, direction, and creative DNA. For this build, I'm going to create a sci-fi fantasy film, but I will not throw in random examples. I'll curate specific references that capture the mood, the pacing, and the visual tone I'm after. In order to keep things organized, we need to group everything into three categories. Writing style references, writing guides, and movie scripts. The first shapes how the story feels. I'll use directors like Martin Scorsese, Christopher Nolan, and David Fincher for their distinct storytelling rhythm. The second defines structure. Guides from Studio Binder, Toronto Film School, and Writer's Store to keep the screenplay format tight and readable. And the third, the movie scripts group, gives the AI its narrative backbone, Iconic worlds like Star Wars, The Matrix, and The Lord of the Rings, each rich with character arcs and world building. What makes Poppy stand out is its ability to remember and cross-reference all of this at once. It studies tone, pacing, and structure from each source, merging them into a style that feels deliberate, not random. But here's the trick. More references don't mean better results. Two or three strong ones per category are enough. Too many and you risk losing direction and wasting credits. This step is like creating a story compass. The clearer it is, the easier it becomes for Poppy to guide your script towards something truly cinematic. Before we dive into writing, it's really helpful to get things organized. Kind of like setting the stage before filming a scene. We're going to group all our references inside Poppy so the AI actually knows what kind of story we're trying to make. On the left side of the screen, there's a sidebar with a few key tools. First, 
hit the chat icon. That's where you'll be talking to Poppy later. You can move it around your screen so it's easy to access while building. Now, scroll to the very bottom and click the folder icon. That's how you create a new group, basically a container for your references. Go ahead and make three of them and name each one writing style references, movie scripts, and writing guides. Like what I said earlier, these three categories will guide how your movie script turns out. The style, the structure, and the storytelling approach. Next comes the fun part, adding your references. I'll start pasting the links I have collected earlier into the workspace. Every time you drop one in, Poppy will automatically detect what kind of media it is, whether it's a YouTube video, an article, or a document, and format it right there on your board. For example, if I paste in a video link, it instantly shows the thumbnail and title so I know exactly what I am working with. Now it's time to clean things up a bit. Drag and drop each reference into its proper group, just to keep everything tidy. Keep adding your references until your board looks balanced and clean. Once all your reference groups are set up, it's time to connect everything together. This is where the real power of Poppy comes in. Each group you've created, writing style references, movie scripts, and writing guides, needs to be linked to the main AI chat box so that Poppy knows exactly where to pull information from when it starts generating. On the right side of each group, you'll notice a small circular node. Simply drag that circle over the matching node on the chat box. If you've used other node-based tools, this will feel familiar. You're visually building your workflow, connecting your sources directly to the AI. After linking all the groups, Poppy now understands how these different datasets interact. You can choose which AI model you'd like to use for generation. For this demo, I'm going to use Claude Sonnet since it handles long-form storytelling extremely well, especially when the goal is a detailed, character-driven movie script. Alright, everything's ready. Now let's see what Poppy does with it. Here's the prompt I'm going to use. Create a full movie script inspired by our grouped references. Create a sci-fi fantasy film similar to the movies in our movie scripts group with the style of the directors in the writing style references and written similarly to the guys in the writing guides group. Please make the story long and comprehensive, complete with deep characters, an amazing plot, great setting, and an engaging plot twist. This prompt acts like your director's note. It will tell Poppy not just what to write, but how to think about writing it. By referencing the specific groups we created, the AI knows which sources to prioritize and how to blend tone, pacing, and structure into one cohesive script. After you hit generate, the AI will begin pulling context from all your references and write the screenplay from scratch. After this, open the preview. You'll see that the story reflects your influences, from the directorial tone to the narrative rhythm. Poppy even mentions the reference sets it drew inspiration from, confirming that the AI truly understood the creative direction. If the results doesn't quite hit the tone you're going for, don't worry. Iteration is part of the process. You can always reprompt Poppy with more guidance. Sometimes a particular reference might dominate too strongly, in which case you can tell Poppy to emphasize one group more or tone another down. You can definitely adjust your creative input rather than starting over. The more intentional your feedback, the sharper the output becomes. Keep in mind that every regeneration uses credits, so instead of prompting repeatedly with the same information, try refining your input each time. Add or remove small details that help Poppy recalibrate. Over time, you'll learn how little tweaks in your prompt or reference balance can completely transform the tone of your script. Once you get that rhythm down, Poppy doesn't just write a screenplay it will write your kind of screenplay. All right, every great movie script needs characters that feel alive, the kind you remember long after the credits roll. Now that we've built our main script, 
it's time to dig deeper and give our characters that same level of depth. In this part, we're going to use Poppy to create a character lore document. Something that breaks down who your characters are, what shaped them, and how they think. First, clear out the groups we used earlier for the movie script. We're starting fresh with new references that focus specifically on character design and psychology. Once your board is clean, create three new groups and label them as follows. Style, Background, and Psyche. These will act as our character building pillars, one for how they look, one for where they come from, and one for how they think. Let's start with style. This determines the visual tone and design of the character. For this one, I'm using Watchman as the foundation for our character's look. I grab three different reference images from the film, and then I'll drop them into the group. You'll notice that when you paste image or video links in Poppy, it will automatically recognize the format and displays them cleanly inside your workspace. Perfect for visual projects like this. Next is background. For this, I want a character whose past carries emotional weight. So I'll use Anakin Skywalker from Star Wars as my inspiration. Just like earlier, I'll add an image of Anakin along with two additional link references and place them inside the background group. And lastly, we'll move on to Psyche, arguably the most important layer. This is where we define what drives our character internally, their mindset, flaws, and motivations. For this category, I want to use Tyler Durden, The Punisher, and Batman as my core inspirations. These characters each bring something different, chaos, justice, and duality. I'll take three reference articles, then paste them into the group. Once all the references are in place, connect each group to the main AI chat, just like what we did earlier. This setup tells Poppy exactly where to pull the information from when generating the character document. Once linked, we're ready to give our prompt. Here's the one I'll use. Please create a comprehensive character sheet of the characters from our script. Please use the style group as the reference for the character's style. Then use the background group as a basis for the character's background. Lastly, use the psyche group as a basis of our character's psyche. Make sure to keep the characters compelling and have a deep dive of their narrative story. Poppy will take a moment to process everything. And when it's done, you'll see a full character sheet that's rich in detail, complete with history, traits, and emotional depth. It even lists the references so you can see exactly how it merged your sources to shape the final personality and design. The result doesn't feel like something an AI threw together. It reads like a real character study, detailed and aligned with the story you wanted to tell. It's organized, emotionally layered, and most importantly, completely aligned with your original vision. Most people think you need Hollywood to make a story that hits. You just saw that's not true. All it takes is one idea, one workspace, and the right AI to turn it into something real. That's how modern creators are doing it. Faster, smarter, and completely solo. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.